Hey guys, it's Forsaken Reality here, and this one we're going to be integrating our climbing component into Advanced Locomotion version 4. The, the uh, copy that we're going to be using is a copy released by this guy right here on GitHub. I'll leave a link to the description. So basically what we're going to have as our end result is our character able to climb and mantle different surfaces. Just showcase in first person. It's in a way less as a little bit smoother of a system for the further camera. So without further ado, I'll show you how to set this up. Just gonna move this out of the way here. So I'm just going to have my climbing component. It's in 4.23, but you can I'm gonna be migrating it into a 4.26 or I believe it is, yep, 4.26 project. You should be able to get it in 4.26 directly, but as long as you're migrating it up, it doesn't matter. It should work correctly. Just going to migrate all the files. And into my content folder, my ALS project. Once that's done, you can close out of this. And you'll notice I have both folders here. First thing I'm going to want to do is target animations. ALS's skeleton should already be set to a humanoid. You need that window. It's right here, the retarget manager. Set humanoid, save. And retarget to the ALS skeleton. And I'll send over all the animation assets to ALS. Just double checking. Yep, they seem to be fine. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is set up the stuff specific to the climbing component before I uh, get into the specific stuff for ALS that needs to be adjusted. Like the curves for the animations and the mantling setup. So we're going to want to go into our character logic here. Add our climbing component. I'm just going to remove this BP here just so naming matches up and I won't need to name anything in, in a minute. So, go into here, blueprints, character, master character. Select this wall trace arrow. Just paste that in like that. Attach to your skeleton. Set this to 50 for the Z and adjust that to 90 so it's Lined up 100%. And we're going to want to go to our event graph. In play. Select this right here. Control C to copy. We'll go to our event graph over here. Going to begin play. Control V this here at the bottom. Add another input. and save that. So that's be, that being initialized, the climbing component set. Um, next we want to replace the mantling system. So we're going to want to go to mantle system, mantle check, find ramp references, and in the player input graph, the first thing you're going to want to do is get the climbing component. Search for climb slash vault. And hold control and you can just drag these nodes up in like this. Delete this and this. And 
we're also gonna need to search for the boolean can climb. And we can also control C these two right here. Patty sit here. And inner to crafts. It's all in room. Roll V to paste that in. Let me just replace that. So that should be our climbing, our, our vaulting replaced for ALS. Still some, gonna be some animation changes we're gonna need to do for the curves. Just gonna open up the map. And just select this game mode for now, just so we can get the character to spawn. And it should allow us to mantle, but it doesn't actually do the animation. It just does the motion of it, basically. So we're going to want to set up our animations. So when you're climbing component, animations, climbing, motion, and we'll deal with the fast animations first. open up each montage and we're going to want to get the animation data modifiers window open that's a open if you don't actually have it and also we're going to just change the slot to base layer and it's not letting me add the month modifiers ah yeah that's because it's not in the montage sorry we're gonna want to we're just gonna set the base layer in the montage for now and head to our animation sequence and then you'll want to open up this data modifier and we're just gonna copy curves because there's some vaults in ALS that have all the curves that we'll need. You can always make adjustments if you understand the curve system yourself, but these look pretty good. So let's look up the mantle. Now we'll get the one, one meter right hand. Select copy all curves. You'll right click this and apply modifiers. Save this. Now I'm just going to sorry, set the current camera location. Now we'll have our mantle wing working there. We'll want to do this to, with all of our animations. So we're in low climb, add modifiers, copy curves. Get the mantle right hand. Copy. So we don't have to keep searching this. And apply modifier. Base layer. And if you open up the animation, it would fix the T pose. Copy. Um, Paste this animation in. You want to make sure you apply the modifier. And have this copy all curves ticked. I do this for the slow animations as well. A 
to check that I applied this one. I didn't. Bad for that, I guess. Same process across all of the animations, though. So it makes it a little easy. Want to make sure all your animations are set to base layer. There's a few more animations there that you might want to use and do those two, but that's most of the animations there. Let's double check that I did it to the root motion versions. And I missed the run high climb. Okay, so they should be all good. And that should be about it for the animations being set up here few more things actually that I want to just specific to advanced locomotion to make it animations a little more smooth. Okay, we'll try cubic interpolation here. So for the roll, you want to test this out on all of them. Just checking out some of my settings on mine because I made some adjustments. Blend in and blend out times to make them look a little better. You can adjust these yourself. Whatever you feel looks better. There's this new one. And also if you quickly just want the uh, footstep notifies as well. You can come in here, add notify, and select footstep and notify. And so I pause the animation. So around here is when he jumps. And you just want to adjust this to jump. Just adjusting it to the settings that are actually on one of the other animations. Volume multiplier adjusted. I can just copy this and paste it in again. Set that to land. Now when we bolt, we'll have the landing sounds. And you can set that up for all your other animations. You just gotta look at where your feet are hitting and leaving the ground and any other points you'd want to set a sound to. That's gonna be everything for this one. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave those in the comment section below. 
or join our community discord for the ass for the climbing component asset and other assets that we create in the future um thanks and i'll see you all in the next video that i upload